okay student today we see uh, the next point in the plant water relations that is about the path of water across the <coughs> root okay so see that is here path of water across root okay so in last uh, some lectures we have seen that is here the uh, water it mainly absorb uh, in the plants through the root hair cell okay so here the uh, there is uh, the uh, in the root tip there is the absorption region okay so here in the absorption region there are the many roots uh, are pre root hairs are present and through this root hairs the water is absorbed okay so here water which is absorbed by the root hair is from the rhizosphere okay uh, which is around <coughs> the root hair uh, it is present that is the water it mainly presents in the capillary <coughs> of the uh, soil that is the capillary water only it mainly uh, absorbed by the plants uh, so today we see that is about uh, here and the how the uh, water is absorbed that is from the root hair then again to the cortical cell and up to the uh, xylem tissue that is the water conducting uh, tissue and so see that is here in last lectures we have seen uh, the water absorption it mainly takes place by the uh, some physiological processes okay which are these physiological processes that is here as it first is the imbibition a uh, second uh, is uh, the diffusion and third process is uh, the osmosis so by these three uh, physiological processes here the absorption takes place okay so today we will see that is how the imbibition takes place actually by the process of imbibition okay so what is we we have seen the imbibition imbibition means what that is the adsorption of the water by the hydrophilic compounds okay tela karna manto imbibition then diffusion means what that is the movement of the ions atoms or the molecules from uh, its uh, <coughs> higher concentration to the lower concentration so diffusion is freely okay it takes place freely Uh, while the osmosis means what here the movement of the solvent that is the water that is from the low concentration of the solution to the higher concentration of the solution through semi permeable membrane that is known as the osmosis okay so say that is here how these by the three physiological processes here the movement of the water uh, takes place okay so here first we see that is uh, how the anatomical features of the uh, roots are and how it shows uh, that is uh, the path of uh, the uh, movement of the water okay uh, so if we see the anatomical features that is here the outermost layer of the uh, root uh, is known as the epiphyllium okay so see that is here so uh, here it is the outermost layer Okay. It is the epiblema layer. Okay, so see here the epiblema. It is the outermost layer of the root. Outermost layer of the root. It is single cell layer. While here outermost layer of the stem, it is known as the epidermis. So what is the difference of the epiblema and the epidermis? Okay, it is the outermost layer of the root. so it is the epiblema so epiblema having the capacity to absorbs the water so epiblema through epiblema cells here water absorption takes place while through the epidermis manje stem cha kiwa leaf cha manje root cha varcha jo portion asto plant cha barobar hai ki ithas leaf cha outer most layer asel स्टेम च आउटर मोस्ट लेयर असेल इट इज नोन एज द इपिडर्मिस एंड थ्रू द इपिडर्मिस वॉटर डज नॉट एप्सॉ ओके सो इट इज द डिफरन्स बिट्वीन द इपिब्लेमा एंड द इपिडर्मिस सो वी हैव सीन ऑलरेडी दैट इज हियर हाउ द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ रूट हेयर इज ओके सो हियर द इन वन इपिब्लेमा 
muscle it gets protrude and it produce the root hair okay it produce the root hair so here and the water it mainly absorb through this root hair okay so here the root hair it is having the cell wall then cell membrane okay we have seen also the cell wall is made up of the pectin and the cellulose so here is the cell wall okay and it is made up of the pectin and the cellulose so the pectin and cellulose these are the hydrophilic substances or hydrophilic colloids which mainly adsorb or imbibe the water okay so the first process is the imbibation which takes place by the uh, cell wall and through the uh, imbibation process here the water enters into the uh, cell wall okay and then here what happens that is here outer side of this uh, root here there is the water okay so this water which is present around the root hair that is it is the known as the rhizosphere okay so here in the through this rhizosphere that is uh, from the capillary water here only the uh, water is absorbed by the root hair okay so here in the root hair we have seen it is the unicellular okay uh, so here in the inside the root hair how the water is absorbed so we have seen the first process that is the imbibation so here the cell wall in which here in the hydrophilic substances it mainly absorb the water okay then what happens that is here the water which is present in the soil okay so it is the low concentration this water having the low concentration solution okay that is the solution is known as hypotonic this solution is known as hypotonic while here inside the root hair here in the solution it is having the high concentration high concentration okay so here this high concentration solution is known as the hypertonic it is known as the hypertonic and here in the water which is present inside the root hair cell that is it is the hypertonic so this solution that is having the high dpd it is having the high dpd high dpd that is it is having the high osmos osmotic pressure or the high esp that is the suction pressure म्हणजे या रूट हेअर सेल मध्ये जे काही सोल्युशन आहे किंवा सेल सॅप जे आहे त्याचं कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन काय आहे हायर आहे ओके आणि याचं कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन आउटर साइड जे काही वॉटर आहे त्याचं कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन काय आहे लो आहे सो वी हॅव सीन द प्रोसेस ऑफ द ऑस्मॉसिस ओके सो ऑस्मॉसिस मीन्स वॉट हिअर द मुवमेंट ऑफ द सॉल्वर दॅट इज द मुवमेंट ऑफ द वॉटर इज टेक्स प्लेस फ्रॉम द लो कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन ऑफ द सोल्युशन टू द higher concentration of the solution so here the water moves from this to the inside the cell that is from the low concentration of solution to the higher concentration of solution so here the concentration of the cell sap okay initially it is high but when water enters into the cell sap here what happens that is here the concentration of the cell sap gets decreases concentration of cell sap gets decreases that is dpd of the cell sap get decreases when it get decreases when the water is absorbed or the by the process of endosmosis enters into the root hair okay so see that is here and during the osmosis here the only the solvent which is passed uh, through the plasma membrane okay so here the diffusion process also takes place and here due to the diffusion process we have seen the diffusion okay so that is here the movement of the solute particles or the ions or the atoms uh, from the higher concentration to the lower concentration so here by the process of diffusion also some minerals or are also enters into the root hair okay so here 
when the water enters into this root hair cell here and it's high due to the high osmotic pressure it adds absorb the water and here the osmotic pressure decreases that is the dpd of the cell gets decreases okay ata pude baka so here inside the dpd plane there are the cortical cells here is a cortical cell okay so here the cortical cell which is near to the root hair cell it is having the high concentration as compared to this root hair it is having the high concentration why it is having the high concentration because here see that is the water enters into the root hair cell here the concentration of the cell sap gets decrease the water enters all along cell sap so concentration kay hoil decrease hoil manje tacha dpd decrease hoil ani yacha comparative apan itha baghitle tar yacha dpd high asel okay so here osmotic pressure is high then here here the concentration of cell sap is high so here the movement of the water it mainly takes place from this cell to the this cell that is the low concentration of solution to the higher concentration of solution and water enters from the root hair cell to the cortical cell that is the cortex so the cortical cells these are mainly the loosely arranged like this these are the cortical cells and here the movement of the solvent it mainly takes place from the low concentration to the higher concentration that is from the low dpd to the high dpd low dpd to the high dpd in this way here the movement of the water takes place okay from the cortical cells <clears throat> so one cell to the next cell that is due to the dpd diffusion pressure deficit and also due to the osmotic pressure okay and then here see that is here is the layer here is the cortex so this this region to the this region there are the many cortical cells that is this region is the cortex and inside the cortex there are the layer that is known as the endodermis okay so these cells these are of the endodermis endodermis so here the endodermis it is the single uh, cell layer and here and the wall of the endodermis it mainly shows the radial wall and the inner wall is the tangential wall so see here it is the radial wall this wall this wall is the radial wall and this wall is the tangential wall okay so this wall is the tangential wall it is the tangential wall and here this wall this portion it is the radial wall it is the radial wall okay so see what happens that is in the endodermis that is here the tangential wall it mainly made up of the wax like covering okay it is made up of the wax like covering and that is here which is called as the subarin okay and this wax like covering of the subarin is known as the casparian strip casparian strip okay so here wax like covering that is the casparian strip it is made up of the subarin and here it is the wax like coating and due to which here the water does not pass uh, through this casparian strip okay so due to presence of this casparian strip here the water does not pass through the endodermis okay so here inside the endodermis there is one layer of the cells these are the pericycle it is one layer of the cell it is the pericycle and inside the pericycle here there are the water conducting cells are present so this water conducting cells which are present these are the xylem these water conducting cells these are the xylem okay so here this region of the xylem 
it is the protozyla it is the protozyla while here it is the metazyla metazyla uh, and here this xylem it is surrounded by the cells like this here are the cells which are the phloem here the phloem so xylem it is the water conducting tissue while the phloem is the food conducting tissue okay so here protoxylem these are the smaller cells while in the metaxylem the cells are larger the cells are larger okay so see that is here and the here is the phloem okay so see here it is the phloem phloem it is the food conducting tissue okay so see what happens that is here we are seeing that is the endodermis that is endodermis uh, having the inner layer of the endodermis tangential layer it is made up of the wax like coating that is the superior it is known as the casparian strip okay so here due to presence of the casparian strip here the water does not enter into the inner side that is up to the xylem uh, tissue okay so but here in the endodermis there is one cell which is known as the passage cell which is near to the protoxylem here is one cell it is known as the passage cell passage cell okay and due to the presence of this passage cell uh, so here the passage cell does not have the subarian covering okay passage cell does not have the subarian covering or the subarian coat म्हणजे वॅक्स लाइक कोटिंग त्याच्यावरती पॅसेज सेल हा असा आहे की त्याच्यावरती वॅक्स लाइक कोटिंग नसतं आणि लक्षात आणि हे वॅक्स लाइक कोटिंग नसल्यामुळं इथे काय होतं बघा व्हेन वॉटर एंटर्स टू द कॉर्टिकल सेल्स देयर इज ओनली नॉट वन लेयर देयर आर द मेनी कॉर्टिकल सेल्स आर प्रेझेंट व्हिच आर लूजली अरेंज्ड लाइक दिस ओके सो हियर द मूवमेंट ऑफ द वॉटर इट इट मेनली टेक्स प्लेस फ्रॉम सेल टू सेल like this here the movement of the water takes place from a cell to cell and here there is there is the pressure hydrostatic pressure which is exerted on this endosperm manje ithun je kahi water conduct hoil by by the process of osmosis or we have seen that is the due to the diffusion pressure deficit here the movement of the water takes place from the low concentration solution to the high concentration solution in this way here from cell to cell the movement of the water takes place and when the water moves here the due to the presence of this casparian strip here all water does not enter directly through the endodermis so here some pressure hydrostatic pressure is exerted this hydrostatic pressure which is exerted on this endodermis it is known as the root pressure okay so here there is the development of the root pressure root pressure that is the hydrostatic pressure which is developed on the endodermis due to the osmosis okay so here when hydrostatic pressure develops here water enters only through this passage cell वॉटर एंटर होताना फक्त कशातून पास होईल पॅसेज सेल नॉट थ्रू दी अदर एंडोडर्मी सेल्स एंड व्हेन वॉटर एंटर्स थ्रू दी पॅसेज सेल देयर इज वन हाइड्रोस्टॅटिक प्रेशर इज डेव्हलप एंड ड्यू टू व्हिच हियर द वॉटर एंटर्स इनटू द पेरिसायकल एंड देन अगेन इनटू द प्रोटोझायला थ्रू दिस प्रोटोझायला इट एंटर्स इन द टू द मेटाझायला and then again here the movement of the water takes place uh, that is uh, through the metaxylem there are the presence of the uh, cells that is the vessels uh, and the tracheids and through the vessels here the movement of the water takes place upward that is opposite to the gravity okay opposite to the gravitational force uh, that is uh, in the uh, plants up to the that is the leaves etc okay so here it is the path of the movement of the water that is here the movement of the water is mainly takes place and that is 
the first physiological process we have seen that is the imbibation a second physiological process that is the diffusion uh, and third physiological process that is the osmosis okay so here the movement of the water that is mainly takes place from the cortical cell that is root here then again cortex okay uh, and that is then again endodermis then again pericycle and up to the zygote okay so here it is the sequence okay so firstly here the water it mainly moves into the root hair cell then again from the root hair cell it moves inside the cortical cell these are the cortex then again it enters into the endodermis only to the passage cell okay why because the cell of the wall of the passage cell it is not made up of the suberin लक्षात ठेवा पॅसेज सेलचं सेल वॉल हे सुबेरीनी बनलेलं नाही आहे पॅक्सी कोटिंग त्याच्यावरती नाही आहे त्यामुळं इथून वॉटर हे पास होईल इन टू द पेरिसायकल ओके दिस लेअर इज नोन एज द पेरिसायकल अँड टू द पेरिसायकल इट एंटर्स टू द प्रोटोझायडम देन अगेन द मेटाझायडम ओके सो इन दिस वे हिअर द मुवमेंट ऑफ द वॉटर इट मेनली टेक्स प्लेस दॅट इज फ्रॉम द रूट हेअर अप टू द झायलम ओके सो इट इज अबाउट द पाथ ऑफ द वॉटर अक्रॉस द रूट ओके देन नेक्स्ट सी दॅट इज अबाउट द हाऊ वॉट आर द वेज ऑफ द वॉटर मूव ओके स्टुडंट नेक्स्ट सी दॅट इज अबाउट द वेज ऑफ वॉटर मूवमेंट ओके सो देर आर द टू वेज ऑफ द वॉटर मूवमेंट सो इट आर द टू वेज ऑफ द वॉटर मूवमेंट देर आर द टू वेज ऑफ वॉटर मूवमेंट वन इज द अपोप्लास्ट एंड अनदर इज द सिम्प्लास्ट ओके सो वी हॅव सीन दॅट इज इयर द मूवमेंट ऑफ द वॉटर इज मेनली टेक्स प्लेस फ्रॉम द रूट हेअर टू द झायलम ओके सो हिअर हाऊ द वॉटर इज अ मूव दॅट इज रूट हेअर टू द झायलम वी हॅव सीन ओके सो हिअर थ्रू द सेल टू सेल हाऊ द मूवमेंट ऑफ द वॉटर टेक्स प्लेस ओके सो सी दॅट इज इयर दिस इज द सिंगल सेल आय हॅव ड्रॉन हिअर हिअर इज द अनदर सेल ओके सो हिअर इज द वॅक्युअल सो दिस पोर्शन इज द वॅक्युअल अँड हिअर द वॅक्युअल हॅव इन द कवर इट इट इज नोन एज द टोरो प्लास्ट that is a membrane of the vacuole is known as the tonoplast then here vacuole is surrounded by the here is the cell cytoplasm okay so it is the cell cytoplasm it is the cell cytoplasm okay so see that is here how the movement of the water takes place so water movement it mainly takes place that is due to the osmosis we have said okay so here some water it mainly moves through only the cell wall okay so see that is here and this portion is the cell wall okay cell wall a portion manje kasha cha ahe cell wall cha manje ki dur itha parent cha portion theek hai so here and the water will transfer or move through the cell wall that is here from this cell wall like this here the movement is it takes place like this from this cell to the cell only the cell wall not through the protoplasm okay so here this is known as the apoplast movement yala mhanla jata apoplast apo means without protoplast here that is here the movement of the water it takes place without the protoplast manje it the water protoplasm madhe mhanje ya cytoplasm madhe alela aahe ka nahi that is this movement of the water is only takes place uh, through the cell wall and the intercellular cells okay uh, so here that is here the movement it takes place the without protoplast without protoplast that is here in the apoplast here the movement of the water it takes place only through the cell wall okay only through the cell wall that is here the apoplast movement okay then another movement is the symplast movement symplast means what here in the movement of the water it takes place through the cytoplasm from cell to cell see here here is the cytoplasm 
okay so here see here the movement it takes place from this cell uh, to this cell through this cytoplasm and here in between the two cell here there is the cytoplasmic connection is present in between the two cell there is the cytoplasmic connection or the cytoplasmic bridge is present this bridge is known as the plasmodesmata <coughs> This bridge is known as the plasmodesmata. Okay, so here there is the cytoplasmic connection. Means what here? So here is the cytoplasm of the one cell, and here is the cytoplasm of the neighboring cell. Okay, so here from this cell to this cell here, when the water movement takes place, here the movement of the water it takes place from this cell to the this cell by forming some cytoplasmic uh, connection. Okay, and here this cytoplasmic connection or one bridge which is produced. Uh, so here it is known as the plasmodesmata connection. It is the plasmodesmata connection, or it is also known as the cytoplasmic bridge. It is also known as the uh, cytoplasmic bridge. Okay, so here when the movement of the solvent is from the cytoplasm. Plasm of one cell to the another cell. Okay, and this movement is like this. It takes place. It is known as the symplast movement. Okay, so here a symplast movement or the symplast pathway means what here only through the in plasmodesmata. Okay, so that is the through the protoplasm symplast movement pathway. Okay, it is the apoplast pathway. So here, symplast pathway means what? Here, in the movement of the solvent is through the cytoplasmic <coughs> bridge. That is the plasmodesmata. Through the plasmodesmata. Okay, so here, in this way here, the movement of the water. Is mainly takes place by the two ways. One is the apoplast pathway, and another is the symplast pathway. Okay, so what is mean by apoplast pathway? That is when the movement of the solvent it takes place only through the cell wall. Okay, or the intercellular space. Another pathway is the telangana. So, upon apoplast, apo means without, protoplast. Okay, the cell wall to the cell wall, water chain movement. That is the apoplast pathway. Okay, and another pathway that is the symplast pathway means what here? Symplast pathway means here movement of the solvent is from the cytoplasm to the cytoplasm of the cell. Okay, when you take a cytoplasm, then the other cytoplasm, then the water enters through the through the plasmodesmatal connection. Through the plasmodesmatal connection, or it is also known as the cytoplasmic bridge. And when this movement takes place, it is known as the symplast pathway. This movement is known as the symplast pathway. Ma, kadi kadi kya hota tha? Itho baga, jema wall madhu, jee water ke apoplast pathway mujhe bhi kaise mila? Wall madhu water pass hui, ठीक है? But if this wall it is having some the subarian coat or the if there is a the tangential wall is present then water it does not move through this cell wall okay and during what happens this apoplast pathway that is water which enters through the cell wall it then again enter into the protoplasm it then again enter into the protoplasm And when it enters into the protoplasm, then again here it moves through this protoplasm. That is here the apoplast pathway is converted into the symplast pathway. मतलब जब इधर एक अन्य अर्थन आना से वॉल में दे, टेंजेंशियल वॉल फॉर्मेशन जाना दे तो सुबह ही जब तर क्या हो सकता, तर वाटर इधर उन पास हो पुरे शक्कर नहीं तो जब पुरे वाटर पास होना नहीं, मतलब वाटर में तो इधर सामने का नहीं, तो स्वतः सा रूट बदल 
आणि मग रूट बदलतं म्हणजे काय करतं तर हा अपोप्लास्ट जो पाथवे हा सी प्लास्टिक मध्ये येईल अँड दी वॉटर कॅन बी ड्यू थ्रू दिस सायकोप्लाझमिक ब्रिज ओके दॅट इज हिअर इट मे बी पास बाय द सिम प्लास्ट पाथवे ऑर इन सम केसेस वॉट हॅपन दॅट इज इन सम सम टाइम्स हिअर द अपोप्लास्ट वॉटर विच एंटर्स इन टू द सिम प्लास्ट देन अगेन here there may be the possibility then again it enters into the cell wall and then again it move by the apoplast movement that is uh, through the uh, cell wall the movement will be through the uh, cell wall okay so here the there may be the possibility if there is uh, the uh, any uh, formation of the wall uh, uh, that is the radial wall in the सेल वॉल ऑफ द सेल ओके म्हणजे सेल वॉल मध्ये जर एखादा अल्ट्रास निर्माण झाला तर अपोप्लास्ट पाथवे मधलं वॉटर तसंच राहत नाहीये तर ते काय होत त्याचं रूट बदलत काय करत त्याचा रूट बदलत आणि रूट बदलून ते सी प्लास्ट मध्ये जाईल आणि सी प्लास्ट मधून कदाचित ते पुन्हा वॉल मध्ये येईल किंवा या प्रोटोप्लाझम मधून पुढे सी प्लास्ट पाथवेने पुढे जाऊ शकतो ओके सो ते जातो टू पाथवे दॅट इज द अपोप्लास्ट पाथवे अँड द सिम प्लास्ट पाथवे ओके स्टुडंट सो टुडे वी सी दॅट इज अबाउट द पाथ ऑफ द वॉटर अक्रॉस द रूट म्हणजे वॉटर हे रूटमधून कशा पद्धतीनं पास होतं दॅट इज हिअर फ्रॉम द रूट हेअर सेल देन अगेन इपिब्लेमा देन अगेन द कॉर्टेक्स अँड देन अगेन अप टू द एंडोडर्मिस एंडोडर्मिस नंतर पेरिसायकल आणि पेरिसायकल नंतर अप टू द झायलम या पद्धतीनं हे वॉटरची मुवमेंट होते अँड दिस मुवमेंट ऑफ द वॉटर इज मेनली ड्यू टू द थ्री फिजॉलॉजिकल प्रोसेसेस वन इज द इम्बायबेशन अनदर इज द डिफ्युजन अँड थर्ड इज द ऑस्मॉसिस ओके देन वी हॅव ऑल्सो सीन दॅट इज द टू वेज ऑफ द वॉटर मुवमेंट वॉटर मूव्ह होतं परंतु ते वॉटर मुवमेंट होताना दोन वेज आहेत एक अपोप्लास्ट आणि दुसरं सिम्प्लास्ट अपो मीन्स विदाउट प्लास्ट प्रोटोप्लाझम प्रोटोप्लाझम मधून वॉटर पास न होता फक्त ते सेल वॉल मधून जर पास होत असेल दॅट इज नोन ॲज द अपोप्लास्ट आणि सिम्प्लास्ट मध्ये काय लक्षात ठेवायचं दे द मुवमेंट ऑफ द वॉटर टेक्स प्लेस ओनली थ्रू द सेल सायटोप्लाझम दॅट इज बाय द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सायटोप्लाझमिक ब्रिज दॅट इज नोन ॲज द प्लाझमो डेस्माटा आर द प्लाझमो डेस्माटल कनेक्शन ओके स्टुडंट सो टुडे वी स्टॉप हिअर